Station 4, Blood Bowl League. Unfortunately, my normal co-host, Past Dog, can't make it today, but instead I've got someone more important, someone very exciting, actually, someone we don't know is actually really existed until this moment. A special guest, can you please introduce yourself better than what I just did? Uh, well, it depends. Um, I'm not sure what people know me as. But you, you have a shot at my name, Jawa. I'm just going to say loners. That, that's pretty much it. Loners. 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 No, not lo- loners? Or loners, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I had someone, a friend of mine called Loners in oh, a, as another oh, sort of um, alias. So I think when I saw okay. yours, I'm just like, yeah, that's the easiest. No, well, got... you, you, you put the one on as an L, I've noticed. Yeah. You say Lon Roll. Lon and I'm Roll. Like, Hold on. Where's he getting the L from? And then I saw my name and I realized I had a one on the end. I'm like, oh, he's seen the one as an L. I just don't think I need. I, I just. What do you say? Welcome to Lon One. Like. <laughs> yeah. Lon Roll. Like Lon Roll. Lon Roll. There you go. Yeah. That there you does, go, perfect. I think Lona sounds better still, but no, Lonro, let's go with that. <laughs> Look, thank you so much. Loners is fine. Loners is fine. Doesn't yep. doesn't really matter really. You're on the um you're on the high peak of a free time champion, second on the tipping ladder. So we've got um pure royalty on this show. You know, Past Dog failed in the semi finals, hence why he's no longer with us. We can't accept failure like that, says me who failed in the first round, <laughs> but we don't discuss that. Yeah, um, well, I'm sure everyone misses Past Dog's sexy voice, but uh, anyway. he will be back. He will always be back. Um, so, mm-hmm. what I thought we'll do is we'll start with the sloppy, sloppy seconds. Um, I don't have Twitch up, so bear with me for two secs, just in case anyone starts sending some uh, questions in for you. Uh, quickly get that up on my screen. Hopefully, no one's seeing this at the moment. Actually, no, I'm going to leave it off. With your Twitch de- de- details. Yeah, no, it's just going to talk over the background, so. If there is any messages, please just send it to me on Twitch on my phone or something else. We'll go from there. Instead, we're going to talk about the sloppy seconds. So bear with me. I'm actually doing this on my PC. So it's a little bit different to what I'm used to. Let's find a team. Nope, that's yours. Let's not start with that team. We're going to start with Bubba, Southern Pride. So it's, uh, it's going to be Dwarves. Versus high elves, or as some would say, uh, elves versus elves. Just uh, <laughs> I know I've been um, burnt twice by his passing game, this being the dwarves, which I've got up on the screen now. Um, I don't know if you can see it at the moment, but basically, he's still got a nice 13 man team, still only two re rolls, but he's got 170k in the bank. He's got mm. four guards on his long beards. Uh, two mighty blows on his troll slayers, blodging runner, and a blitzer with mining blows. So it pretty much is just a cookie cutter dwarf team, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty pretty standard. But you know, with Bubba, he obviously plays his dwarfs um, quite differently to anybody else. Um, <laughs> just you know, he wants his passing animation. So yep, Do- it, you know, like. It, it's it, it it he's always going to surprise you no matter what you know he'll 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 grind out for six turns and then he'll throw a long bomb to some bloke down the other end of the field like he's just that's just how he likes to play so many times isn't it he he definitely just goes you know what this always works for me I'll just go for it yeah that's uh, it um, I've got my twitch up on the other one and um, and Eddie boo right uh, we don't yeah. Um, do you think he's ever going to get diving catch on a double for any of his players? <laughs> <laughs> what did, can can dwarves get leap? Because Bubba keeps talking about getting leap. I don't want to see it. Roll a double. There you go. We've well, got a, that's what he'll take. We've got a goblin he'll, with a chainsaw with leap, so uh, why not? Yeah, no, he'll take leap. I reckon if he ever gets a double, take um, leap. He'll take leap. Yeah, on because long, he keeps talking. Yeah, he keeps talking about it, so he's going to do it. He'll, he he would, has to do it. He would do it just to piss off the Kislev player too, wouldn't it? <laughs> this is how it's done. Just yeah, and, then, and, then, and then he just keep rolling sixes. Yeah, That's just right. roll six. What's the red roll? Don't need them. Um, he hasn't got any stadium upgrades, so let's see who we've got next. I'm pretty certain we've got good vibrations, including the Blitzer with movement. God, I hate that guy. <laughs> uh, he's got edge, edge five. 
doesn't he? He's, he's got, got edge a, five. A bludging someone. Yeah, yeah. bludging edge five, which is fantastic. Yep. Um, his blitzer has got the movement and mighty blow bludge. Mm-hmm. Um, he's got three catches. He hasn't got the fourth one yet. Uh, wrestle, dodge, dodge, and then uh, just a just a naked one. He does have leader accurate thrower. So and one guard. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But nine players. I believe was it his team that copped the absolute beating throughout this season. I think he's the one. I'm pretty saying good vibrations. Um, it was one of the high ups. I'm pretty saying it's good vibrations that copped something like 16 casualties. No, no, it was um, it was Matt M. I think it was uh, Matt M. Yep, Blake's the same Matt M. Yeah, I think yeah, it was Matt because I remember um, Luke Adrian yeah, yeah, brought yeah. it up how how bad Matt M's injury dice were. Yeah, yeah he he's got to stop marking, especially with elves. It, it, does, it doesn't work. So he's, he's going to have two loners, fair enough, but he's got offensive potential with the high elves. Um, yeah, for sure. Agility 5, movement 7, bludge. I mean, all that bludge. Well, though, that's the player. That's the player. I mean, he's at that edgy, edgy 5. I mean, uh, that player can pretty much do whatever it wants. Yep. Um, but it's yeah. actually he's ever blitzer. It's on 42 of 51, and I'm pretty certain he made two or three touchdowns in the last game. Mm, mm. So he definitely uses his blitzes. Um, yeah. But he's up against tackle. Have you it, have you ever played Baldwin before? I think I have. Um, I've played a couple of friendly games. I don't think I've actually played yeah. him in a season. Oh, uh, okay. Because, I mean, he's a really good coach. Yes. <laughs> I think anyone that makes show pony is straight up gets to wear that badge. Making the show pony. Oh, sorry. He didn't make show pony, but he played. Um, well, he has won it. He has won it before. He has won it. Yeah, he has, yeah. hasn't he? Yeah. With, yeah, he has um, won it before. Wood Elves? Wood Elves. Yeah, that's yes. right. So he's an um, elf player. That's right. Was he yeah. the first or second round? He was the first. Very first. Yeah. And then you, you we went, oh, that's cute. Watch me do this three times. Oh, I wasn't around for the first season. But... Oh, that's a nice backhanded compliment, isn't it? Hey, he wouldn't have <laughs> well, won he actually, if I was here. He actually beat Kobe in the final, so that's oh, pretty funny. So Kobe's waited how many seasons to get revenge? <laughs> and oh, gonna, what are we up to? Yeah. And you're going yeah. dis- to you're going to break his heart all over again. Oh, I wouldn't do that to him. He, he's too nice. He's too. Oh, is he? No, nah, he is. He is. <laughs> what do you think, though? You got high elves. You got dwarves. Two very good coaches. Two coaches that know their mm. business with both teams. Yeah, it's it's a tough one. I mean, I I probably changed my mind about ten times on this game. Same. Um, I, I, you know, it's it's one where I could see like two one to the dwarves and Bubba just grinding it out and whatever. Yep. But you know, I just think Baldwin with that. You know, those skill ups, it's just so dangerous. I just feel like, you know, with a, you know, some bit of luck, if he gets like a blitz or something, yeah. he's just going to get multiple touchdowns. And I don't know if the dwarves are going to be able to counter that. Or so, if the GF, we all know that Bubba likes his GFIs. Mm-hmm. This is a team that if you make that mistake and if you fall down with a GFI and out, out of position just a little bit, well, we've got movement eight, 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 seven. Like, they yeah, will that, be... They you're will, gone. Yeah. yeah. So, Bubba's going to... It looks like Bubba's going to have to cage up and hope for... He's got three mighty blows, two of them on Frenzy. So, he's got, you know, the, effectively the double chance of cracking armor. Um, yep. He does have... This is Baldwin. He's got three stri- um, armor value seven fragile pieces. Um. Mm. It is, isn't it? I, I mean, we know Bourne will do a quick touchdown or is capable of doing it. But yep. could I think if Bubba gets the toss, he will defend. Oh, you think so? I think you would. I think you would put the pressure on the high elves and go, all right, either score in two turns and then give me 14 turns to grind you. To just you, grind. Yeah, or yeah. try and play keeping off and we'll go to, you know, you, you'll score your touchdown turn seven or turn eight, but yep. I should hopefully have taken two or three of your players off the pitch for the remainder of the game. Yeah, yep. Um, I, I really feel like if Bubba can get the def- – allow allow him to get that first attack 
it will play better in his hands. Where if mm. Baldwin lets Bubba and he has his full man defense at the start with the two loners on the field, he, he's got a better chance. He can apply a lot of pressure. So I think the yeah, toss. I think, I think the toss in this game is going to make a big difference. I'm going to go with good vibrations, uh, and just because he can defend with the armor value eight, but he's got the explosiveness of if something goes wrong, he can benefit from it quicker than I think the dwarves can. Yeah, I I, I agree. I think that's how I see it as well. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, barring like if. If the mighty blow just goes crazy and Bubba starts removing That's it. players at will, then then it, then he'll win. That, but but That's... if 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 the high elves can keep it, you know, um, you know, at least nine, you know, eight or nine players on the field, I, I just yeah, I agree with you. Here's one last thing: good vibrations. I don't know who the um who's if anyone's in the chat, whose field is it? Because good vibrations. Is bringing a magician shop if there are uh, if it's there. <laughs> oh, well, if that if that's the case, then yeah, I mean, you'd have to go the elves because that, yeah. that helps them so much more, doesn't it? It you would think so. It, you want to cage up <laughs> fireball, um, you want to do a screen. I can run around it and lightning bolt you. So I'm not sure if well, it, even if he ca- even if he caged, I mean, you could still lightning bolt the runner and then like just easily blitz one of the corners and get the get the ball anyway. I mean, yeah. it, it's not, you know? no wizard. It's going to be a Bubba home final. Oh, well, he dodged the bullet. Yeah, <laughs> it, it makes it more 50-50. I think with yeah. the wizard, it would have been a lot, a little bit more skewered towards uh, ball in there. All right, well, those are our tips. Let's have a look at the real one we're here for, Show Pony. Let me see who I've got. So, here. oh, before we move on, nope. actually, so let's remind everybody because Blake's on top of the tipping comp. Yes. So, By if he wants to be a real dog, he could just pick the elves like you and me. Yes, but I don't always pick the who main... I say. Oh, you don't? No, not well, always. I... Not okay. Always. I, I, no, you I have mean, a bit each way then, do you? you well, it's one of those ones where, especially these sort of games, where you go, you know, you start talking about it, and you you will have heard us on the other shows where we can convince one another that, no, nah, no, nah, this guy's definitely going to win. You go, yeah, you know what? <laughs> You're right. <laughs> and then you sit down and you go, what the fuck was he saying? Nah, nah, I'm going to go back to the other guy. Um, these games are just hard. Um, I still think it's going to be good vibrations. But it can just be Bubba at any moment. And I'm pretty certain one of them had a level up still to go. Where is it? Nope, not in this group. It must be in your game coming up. So. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, we'll have a quick look at that. We're going to do yours last because you're our guest on here. As That's Bubba. One moment. I'll quickly find who we got here. The Woke Blokes, here we, no, here we go, his uh, wolf has a level up. So, gift to Kobe, congratulations Kobe, making show pony final, well done. Um, both wolves have block, perfect. Um, we've got a berserker with, ooh, he's got the mighty blow jump up piling on. He's got a sure hands runner, he's got a strength four lineman. A guard berserker and a tackle lineman. Ouch. What do you think? This is your opponent. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a pretty solid team. Um, I've sort of spoken, I speak, you know, chat to Kobe yep. quite a bit. So, like, I know where, you know, where what he's thinking in regards to his team development. And he's probably... Um, still a little bit off where he wants to be because, you know, it's only the first season. So, oh, um, you know, um, but it, it's, it, I think it's shaping really nicely. I think, you know, the only thing which probably makes zero different, what well, makes no difference against me is that it's, he's missing the Yeti. But outside of that, I mean, I think it's a, it's a, it's a really good looking team. Yeti's a tricky one. I'm 
where, where do you stand on big characters? We're going to deviate a little bit um, just because it's the last show and we've only got two games to talk about. Big guys, yeah. how do you feel? Because uh, I hate most of them. They... Yeah, it, yeah. <laughs> it, I, I sort of agree. It, it depends, like, on obviously um, the actual big guy. Um, you know, a Yeti, I, I think I would have on the Norse team. Um, you know, I played Chaos the last three seasons and I never had the Minotaur because yep. I, I thought it was bloat, but, um, yep. Yep. No, absolutely. if I was playing Nurgle though, I'd definitely start with the beast. No start matter. with the beast. I, I've, I've yep. played Luke Adrian who, um, he starts with a free beast, uh, a free Pestigore, no beast build, which looked nicer because, um, the beast brings tentacles. Fantastic. Yep. Mm-hmm. But that's what, 130,000 for just that? Yeah, yeah. Where you could get what? free free pestigors to really get your team moving, get a couple of quick wins, and then pick up the beast. Mm, mm. So it, it's an issue. I, I, I played a human team for a little bit, and I swear every second turn I activated that ogre, I rolled a one. Didn't matter <laughs> when the hell it was. And I was watching, I think it's Matt M's. I'm pretty certain Matt M played Lizards last season. Yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah, and three times in a row, it was one of the lizard players. Oh, the Crocs! The yeah. Crocs! Yeah. Three turns in a row, roll the one, and yeah. you're just like, yeah. why? Why spend 130k on that? I know, I know that that's you know that's blood bowl though, isn't it? You <laughs> know, um, it, it just comes down to the dice, but. Uh, it, it, you know, like when I played Luke Adrian last week, you know, he was saying to me that, you know, that how annoying the troll is when it, you know, goes stupid. Um, but they're necessary, but, aren't they? There, there are some teams yeah, that you yeah. have to yeah, take the yeah, big go, like sure. Underworld, Goblins. Um, yeah, to an extent, Nurgle, you can get away with it, but it is so much better. Crocs, the Croxigore is an interesting one. It, it's got the. Um, Everyone says he's probably the best of the big guys, but you've already got six strength four players, like, mm. and just having that bonehead. The tail's good, but how often does that really come in for the for the value that he brings? It's, yeah, it's always interesting because I played Skaven as well. The Red Ogre, I think he's probably the one of the most contentious. Uh, no, I would I would never play with a Rado guy if I played Skaven. It's no, interesting because nah. some people, that is the one big guy that you're either a yes or no. It doesn't seem to be a middle ground. Yeah. Yeah, no, I would, I would definitely be a no on that. Definitely I'd, no? I'd, yeah. No, nah, no, nah, yeah, yeah. I'd be, yeah, uh, no way. <laughs> Not <Yep>. for me. <laughs> They're just too unpredictable. Like with Skaven, you know, you want to be scoring a lot. Yep. You've got the... Um, the the blitzers anyway that completes and uh, yeah it's just the big guy he's he's more of a pain in the ass than <laughs> but here's a question then i'll put to you tournament build where you can give him block oh uh, yeah i i guess i mean i i'd never really played tournaments so i wouldn't know yep. um but but having block yeah of course i mean i think was it Brog's humans last year, the ogre had block. Yes, he did. And man, he was a beast. Like he was unreal because you got block, and it's like you can you, you can, can throw dice stuff. without really giving a shit because you know it's you know more than likely going to work. Yep. Um. And so and yeah, I guess if you could guarantee block on it, then yeah, it'd be worth it. For so sure. he does have a point at some you know in some builds. Yep. Fair enough. Um. So this is the work blokes. He is missing. I think he lost his dirty player. That's good for you. Um, yeah, it is. And yep. he's missing another lineman. So he's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He does still have 11 players, but no bench with only 90K. So you're not going to have too much. You can pick up one more player and have a 12 man, but you're not going to have that 13 players, one with dirty player sort of aggressive build that he was um, he was really working on. Mm, mm. Um, yeah, he liked, he liked to foul. Um, Doesn't he ever? <laughs> but he, he didn't want to do it against um, Past Dog because of all the region. Um, well, if you ask, um, if you ask Pickles, region doesn't always work. Yeah, no, it doesn't. <laughs> like, Especially not from rocks. <laughs> no, not from rocks. <laughs> sorry, Pickle. Yeah. Uh, once it's funny, <laughs> twice you just feel sorry for the poor guy. 
<laughs> oh yeah, I played him the first yeah. game of the season, yeah. and like we kicked off, and the rock Just killed his killed it, and yeah. I was like, oh, I was like, oh shit, sorry, man. <laughs> I, went, I had to go straight back to my team build, delete it, and rebuild it with an apothecary after I saw that. I'm like, nope, <laughs> nah, no. If this is what happens game one of the first season. Nope, apothecary yeah. goes in. Yeah, I know, I know. It's just horrible. Di- then the second one died, I'm like, oh, good boy. Good, good purpose. <laughs> I've actually used him once. He killed my own player, the apothecary. Oh, they, they always do that. <laughs> dead into dead. Dead they into have dead. Time. I, yeah. I finally got a short hands and he killed him. I'm like, once. I use him <laughs> once and he kills him, asshole. Um, oh. Let's look at yours, though. A three-time champion. You want to tell the the audience, who have you, who do you play? Um what Before, teams? In yeah. in in what? like the opponent? Yeah, well, both. What, what was your oh, first so, win and the opponent? And, you know. Yeah, yeah. Go so down. first first time was um against Blake. I think I think Blake was dwarves. Is it? Yeah, is he either chaos dwarves or dwarves? I can't remember. So Blake does actually play something other than Kislev. He did back then, but <sighs> n- now now he doesn't. But he he did back then. There um, you go. We're learning everything tonight, aren't we? And that was, so I was Dark Elves, and then the next year I was Dark Elves, and that was the third, like, series, like, third yep. season. Yep. Um, and that was a guy, against a guy that doesn't play anymore, Spence, um, and he was Nurgle. And that one went to overtime, actually, yep. and the only reason that I won, because he won the toss, the only reason that I won is because I got a blitz. And so ever since then... <laughs> Blake uh, and Covey and Brog and Lima have all been giving me shit about getting blitzes all the time. Doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> Got the trophy. Doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. um, and then we had the reset, and I used Underworld, and it was against Kami in the final. And Kami was, um, I think, Orcs. Orcs, because I came in on season six. Yeah, yeah, orcs orcs. Then. yeah, yeah, orcs. So, luckily, that was season one. So, obviously, he wasn't fully developed. You know, like the black orcs were, yeah, yeah. No, no blocks, stuff like that. Yeah, but yeah. You, so you run up with Underworld. What, what was there a sort of shtick that you did, or was, was there what? Well, sorry, was there any special, like, um, look, Adrian's got the two strength four throwers. What was, um, how did you win no. with Underworld? Because, I mean, they're generally considered a tier three stunty sort of yeah. thing. No, I didn't have I – th- I had, like, a – I think it was a – one of my blitzes had, like, Mighty Blow and Tackle. And, yeah, I just used him all the time. And he got in – he got good dice on the armor rolls. And, um, yeah, that was – that was pretty much it. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> no exact science. Um, no, yeah. Let Blood Bowl dice win for, win it for you. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I've, I've, been, I've been praying to Nuffle every day. It it just laughs back at me, but one day I'll get oh, it. Isn't that the saying? Better to be lucky than to be good. Absolutely. That's how I got married. Oh. <laughs> she she was a lucky one. Obviously. Oh no 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 no. I was <laughs> I was lucky. I was very lucky because I'm not good looking. So. <laughs> Uh, well, that's not what Kovi and Frenzy say after your night out last week. Uh, they said that after about eight beers, mate. I looked like a solid 10 after that. <laughs> Those guys uh, were walking out like um, the uh, fear and loathing from Las Vegas, walking to the casino. <laughs> <laughs> like, so um, I think everyone looked like a 10 that night. <laughs> um, I've got your team up now. And yep. fuck your guard. No offense. Because um, <laughs> that killed me. Getting that up so quickly, I just yep. could not get around that. Uh, you got three guards. Stand firm. Beautiful. No mighty blow. Why, why stand firm? Just because um, cage building? Yeah, just for, for the, you know, what you said, guard is such a pain in the ass to play against. I mean, if you combine guard with um, stand right. firm, I mean, you, yeah. you can't push them away. Yep. And it, and. and and it's just a nightmare to play against. It just gives, you know, like Mighty Blow, it's good, but... You've got to hit, don't and, you? And yeah, yeah. High. Whereas if it, you get guard and stand firm, I mean, you're already... Like, well, I'm sure um, 
you know, Luca would know the odds of how it all works, but you, you're just maximizing your hits by having guard. So, you know, don't worry about Mighty Blow, just get in more hits and, and the armor will break naturally. Yep. Um, that was a theory anyway, but... You're in show for any um, carp, so it sounds like a good theory. Um, I've, cause I've tried that. I've tried the um, the six, you know, the full Mighty Blow build with Dwarves. Yeah. And yeah, it maybe works once or twice a game, but... yeah. You know, I, I played Necro for four seasons or four, you know, rounds and having Stand Firm and Block on a Strength 4 um, Flesh Golem. Oh, oh is that real? You yeah. just you sit there and you go, push it out of the way. No. Push it out of the way. Still no. <laughs> yeah. And, 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 you know, with the, with the Amazons, I mean, everyone's Strength 3, right? So once you come up against, like, Necro or Orcs or whoever, they've got the Strength over you. So you need that guard to be able to compete otherwise you know you're gonna lose the, the bash battle and how do you feel you're gonna go i mean norse versus amazons in a first season not too unexpected two of the best teams you know skill wise to start with yep. like or dodge or block i mean it's fantastic and you know we only got up to what 1200 1300 tv which is still a good build uh, range for both teams yeah. How do you think you're going to go for, you know, season two, You, I, I suspect you're going to go okay. What about the final round of our cycle? Oh, yeah, it'd be much tougher because obviously by that stage, yeah, yeah we, we, the Amazons have come way back to the field by then. Yeah, and, um, and all yeah, the dwarves just... have guard, all the black yeah. orcs have guard and block and strength four. <laughs> Well, how many how many guard did you say Bubba has now? Like four three already. or four? I think he's got yeah, four so... already. So I played him, I think, two or but the game before I played you, so it was yep. maybe three games back. Yep. And I don't think he had any guard. I think he had one. I think or he, one, yeah, yeah. he got so, one. Uh, you know, like, I had the advantage, but if I played him now, he'd probably, you know, destroy my team. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's just interesting, especially, if, you know, for, for those watching, you, you did play the right thing. Like, I was discussing about playing Wood Elves, the, um, the one re-roll build in the first season. Uh, and that's just because you could maximize those built-in skills and really try and blow out the competition early, which I think is what Adam did. Yeah. He went for the um, no reroll build. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he did. He had a blind for the first three, uh, three games, and then obviously it caught up with him a little bit, where you four blodgers and you didn't suffer any casualties. I think that's probably the big one, isn't it? Yeah. But, well, that, yeah, that's just, you know, without saying luck really, you know, like, um, you, armor seven, you, you don't expect that. No. Um, and you've had a good run. Cause God knows I threw enough punches at those girls faces. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. I mean, it, and then it just comes down to luck, right? You know, you, yeah. you could easily like, um, you know, cleared like five or six players off the field. Yeah, instead, uh, you killed one of my players and put the other one into a uh, missing next game. But good. didn't you kill yourself by failing a dodge away? Was yeah, yeah, yeah. You, but, the hob, yeah. Yeah, the hob <laughs> One of your sure hands. And, oh, yeah. and then the apothecary went, you don't deserve to live, and shot him again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was stoked at that. that was, I'm just like, hey, double sure hands. My team build is, oh, fucked again. Never mind. Well, um, I only, um, with the Amazons though, like I only picked them by default because the last two cycles I've sort of waited to see what everyone else plays because I like that, you know, that there's a bit of variety with yep. with the team. So I remember chatting to Kovey and I was like, what are you going to pick, mate? And he was like, well, just going to see once everybody else has sort of decided. And so it got down and I think like, like Nurgle was still there and he was thinking about doing Nurgle again and then... And he said, oh, he had played Zons before, so he didn't really want to do Zons again. And yep. it was really down to either Zons or humans for me because Kovey was going to take Norse. Yep. So, yeah, that's how it ended up. Zons, it wasn't some master plan to, <laughs> like, that I could game it. You, you, you know, don't have when... to lie to us. We're, we're whole, half of us are power gamers. God knows I am. <laughs> like I, I saw, yeah. I saw the thing about the you can't min max during the casual carnage, and I cried a little bit in my sleep, like because <laughs> I was so going to do that. Nope, don't like that skill. Delete him. Start again. But, uh, <laughs> but, so you're so you're the troublemaker. You're the one why they come up with all these rules for. Look, I'll play within the rules. You just have to give me the rules first. 
That's all I'm saying. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, but otherwise, you've got Stan Fam. You do have one tackle piece, um, bit of a dead skill. Uh, you yeah. got your sure hands, which is great. Um, block first on your thrower, just another bludger. Yep. yep. Um, block again on your catcher, just another bludger. And of course, if you get doubles, guard on a line woman, which I'm assuming will then follow up with a, a block. Uh, yeah, yeah, that would be a block, yeah, on that one. And yeah. did, is yours, because uh, I can't see the screen, no, you're right. on the catcher's got a sidestep now? Yeah, there's a sidestep now. Yeah, yeah, because that was the skill I got from the last game. Yep, yep. so sidestep, um, which is good. I mean, we're looking at different builds, obviously, for the Bleslo, and uh, we're looking at different team builds, and having a sidestepper um, on certain builds was just... You know, just being able to give that skill out makes life a lot easier for um, a lot of plays instead of having mm. to build up for it. Yeah. Um, I think it was one of those skills where normally it's your second or third choice if you want, but now that we can actually build teams, you're like, I can actually take that sidestep straight away. Nice. And, and that's obviously what yeah. you've done here. Blodge, what's the next? Was there any other skill you were thinking of? Other than for, the... for the catcher. No, no, that was that was the one. Um, uh, it's just another nuisance skill, you know, like you, you just hate playing against it. I mean, if that marks a ball carry, I mean, how you got to get it off? You need tackle. Yeah. Um, so it's it's just a pain in the ass to play against. It does, um, especially when you start getting a few more stand firms on your blitzes. It's either I can move or maybe not move, or if I move, I'm going to go where I want to go instead of where you want me to go. Yeah, so, yeah, exactly. Yeah, um, I, guess I mean, I, I played Luke, 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 Adrian's pro worlds the last oh. two seasons. I played him in the finals and um, like you know the quarterfinals or semifinals, whatever. Yeah, and um, yeah, it's like I had. I think the first time I played him, I had one tackle piece. Yeah, and you, you know, trying to get his blodging side steppers, it like, yeah, it's just a nightmare. You know, you you can't move your cage. <laughs> no, you you can't. Can you? It, um, and, and that's what I found with my game against yourself. Not only was the guard there, but blodge. Like, it's just so hard to get around a lot of a lot of these sort of skills. And you've really maximized. You know, you've got the armor value seven, but I've got enough backup plan built in there to make your life miserable to whoever they're playing against. Yep. Um, who's going to win, though? We've got uh, Kirby, who's well, choked gift, in every gifted. final he's made it. Gifted or Kobe for sure. Gifted I mean, Kobe Block. looks 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 a um lock to me. I mean, I can't see how he can lose. So we think. I mean, uh... he, he does he does really well under the pressure. Um, <laughs> how many how many finals has he uh, choked in? Well, only one. So only one. can't hold that against him. I can't ever make it to finals. So I mean, he's got the experience over me as, as well. I mean. Oh, you sound like you're downplaying yourself. I think you know, as someone who's won three championships, you know, you got the, you've only got one more uh, finger on the uh, hand to get another championship ring on, and then you have to switch hands. <laughs> um, well, what do you reckon? I mean, honestly, it this is probably the hardest choice, um, and the reason being is. You guys match up so well because he's got the two wolves with strength four plus the lineman with strength four, but you've got the guard. So that can cancel each other out. But you've got a lot more blotch. He's only got one tackle piece. So in a fist fight, you've got a more a higher percentage of knocking him down than he does you on your major pieces. Yeah. So mm -hmm. six of your players, you, he needs a power. Simple as that. Which is, I think, 16%, where you're going to be seeing at 33% because he's got block, but he hasn't got the dodge to save him for the other dice. Mm -hmm. But he's got frenzy and power and the piling on, which I think we're going to see a lot of on Armour Value 7. So this is a hard one. Yeah. This, this is definitely a flip a coin. I don't think... Even if you get the answer wrong, you... No one could blame you for picking whoever it was. Um, yeah, no, nah, no. Nah. I mean, obviously, I'll be picking myself. So there's another one for you, Blake. Put and me in. too. That <laughs> way, I definitely can't lose. I can't lose third place. Um, Actually, Bubba, Bubba, you're, you're, you're listening. Myself. Where are you, mate? Who are you picking again? Yourself? 
Actually, I might actually have to pick Bubba to um in the in the first round just because Bubba will pick tipping himself. Ca- <laughs> oh yeah. So I can yeah. protect my third place on the tipping chart. <laughs> <laughs> so um, it's all a little bit a little bit the dodgy stuff happening. Four players all within one point of each other. Um, look, I'm gonna I'm probably gonna say yes. I've said Gifted Kobe would probably win the whole season. I just yep. like your build just a little bit more. Six blodge, four guard, a sidestep, a stand firm, a short hands. Like you couldn't if you, if someone asked you to build a list with that many um skills, I don't think you would have changed it much more than that, really, would you? Like that's a, no, no, I wouldn't. No, that that I mean there was no stat up, so um yeah, that's probably how I would would uh, always go. It seems to be you either get all the stat ups or you get nothing. Yeah, I never get any, honestly. I, I, I never. And the only ones I would ever take is strength and agility. I don't bother. I definitely would never take armor. And movement, I would probably only take on, like, if I had a gutter runner or something and I could get a natural one turner. Would you put it on a high off blitzer, the movement? Yeah, I, I, yeah, I guess it's more relevant on that's, that. That's um, the wrong fucking answer. You meant to say no. Why? Uh, I, I mean, I've been bagging out the uh, the plus movement high off blitz of the entire season. I don't oh, like it. Okay. I don't like it. The reason being is, and I'll have to hear. I will get your opinion on this, but I'll, I'll give you mine first because it's my show. Um, you're not getting anything from it. You're moving from seven to eight in a team that's already got four movement eight players. Yeah. My feeling is, you take movement on your highest speed characters to make them even more fast. Faster, mm-hmm. for example, gutter runners, um, wood elf catches, um, anyone that's designed to actually sprint and make touchdowns, I could understand the movement. Yeah, but I feel like blitzers, um, white stuff like that, that's not their job. Yeah, their yeah. job's just to punch yeah. something, and you generally don't need to move that fast every turn. Yeah, like they don't need the afterburners. But you're a free time champion. Please let me know why you would say yes to it. Um, well, now I don't know if I would after you've convinced me to otherwise. I told you this happens. On, <laughs> see, this is what happens with the tips as well on the show. It's like, you know what? You've convinced me. About 20 minutes after we hang up, you're going to be like, actually, no, I've got four fucking good reasons why you do it. Uh, no, like, uh, like, well, first of all, it doesn't matter because I don't roll stat ups anyway. So, <laughs> yeah, and you don't take movement. Yep. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, honestly, the only two that I really ever would take are agility and strength. Um, just because, you know, they're obviously so good to get. Oh, they, yeah. they, they are. And, and that's why they've changed in 2020. They are game-breaking, effectively, aren't they? Um, oh, I, I don't even... That, uh, it's horrible that they've changed the rules. It's taken me this long just to learn, like, these ones. And I'm going to have to learn, relearn a whole another lot. It's just welcome to the passing stat. Uh, some of them are good. Um, I, don't, I don't know how I feel about the prayers to Nuffle chart. I think they've added a few extra randomness that I hope that when we put on BB3 that we can just turn off um, because there was one of them like you get to use the trap door and if someone goes near the trap door they go into the reserve box or something <laughs> I'm wow like, okay I was like well that's a sh- like as if I haven't got enough issues with the dice <laughs> I, I'm certainly not allowed to go around you know this um, nine square or eight square sort of um uh, yeah, sorry, yeah. Nine square Peak box. Plate. Yeah, yeah. It's like, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. I just got... the ra- the randomness. Like, I know it's part of the game, but it can be a real shit thing. Like, you, you... you know, well, I, I hate uh, I hate when like sweltering heat comes up. Or I hate <sighs> like you know I hate um um what's the one the riot where like wow well, sp- fucking oh, you mentioned you... that I've just brought up your I've I've had I had a sneaky look. I, I noticed that someone's got a security gate on their team. Oh, yeah, yeah, yep. always take it, always yep. take it. That was mine too yeah. because, you know, if someone predicts a riot, no. <laughs> yeah, no, we've yeah, got... like, you know, because those things, like, that, that that randomness of it, like, that's what can fuck you and, you know, I'd rather take that out Yep. and not have to worry about it, you I, know. Again, I saw what happened to um, Zidric in oh. the um, final overtime um, against um, Lima. They, oh yeah, yeah. A few years ago, yeah, he yeah, got he got he got completely screwed. All but um, one player just yeah, got dropped. Yeah, and yeah. it's like, well, okay, yeah, yeah. Thanks, for, <laughs> thanks, 
Thanks for the game. <laughs> Yeah, there's the loss, right? Yeah. You know, I just, I did you 16, think about it. No, 16 turns of you know quality blood bowl, and the dice went, <laughs> here's yeah. sixes for your whole team. And it's like, yeah, okay. That, yeah, that's the part where I, you know, I try to like minimize that as much as you can, you know. Well, I'd like to have, and here's the thing about BB3 or the new one or 2020, which one you're looking at, they fix a lot of it so. Riot and all that is now D3 plus three players, which is a little bit better. Mm-hmm. You, know, you, you might only get to move four players, so you can't really rush in with all your elves because only four of them are going to get through, in which case you just go, well, we're beating the shit out of these four first, and then we'll go catch up to the rest. But then they chuck in prayers of Naffle, and I know it's only when there's a TV difference, so your team's yeah. going to be better, and I know... Yeah. You know, it's, I think it's a D16, and only one or two are actually bad. But it's still... Randomness for the sake of randomness, I don't like. Yep, uh, yep. I know people will say, just go play chess, but, you know... <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I, know, I'm I know. Not that And smart. that's part of the game, isn't it? Like, you know, it's... Like, you know, it's a dice game, so... Yeah, you know, rolls... Sometimes you're going to roll shitty dice, and there's nothing you can do. Like, that's... That's how it is, but... Oh, you can bitch um, about it, like we all do. <laughs> <laughs> like, absolute rip into it and just say you're only one because of dice. <laughs> well, I don't, I, I, there's not really that... It doesn't, it doesn't happen in our league. I, you know, I didn't really see anyone saying, oh, the only reason you won is because I got shit dice. Uh, you sure? Oh, well, no one says it to me yeah, that, I, that I can think of. Everyone, Everyone's usually pretty okay with it oh look I, I like to throw out a little tantrum every so often like a two-year-old but uh, <laughs> there, there are some more classical players that are, are known to do it but it's all part of the game isn't it um yeah so yeah you've got the right the teams are evenly built um matched it's gonna be a good game i think unless you know as we said the randomness ruins it but well ever... i'm a seven i'm a seven so i mean like you're all gonna you know, suffer either 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 you know, if 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 the dice go one way or the other, I mean, either myself or Kobe could be like screwed pretty quick. Yep. Um, but that's you know, we 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 know that's how it is, and um, if that happens, I mean, we're just gonna have to play around it. That's you know, <laughs> every game though, isn't it? That's that's pretty much yeah. every game. You you go in with a good plan, and then you go, all right, how how is it going to go now? And then, yeah, that's right. As you said, you know, you get a, a, a quad scale on your first block, and you're like, oh, it's going to be one of those games. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I or... mean, and Kobe's played, you know, he's played heaps of Blood Bowl, and he, he knows what he's doing. It's not, you know, if he loses a couple of players, it, it won't, shouldn't affect him too much, I don't think. It should. And uh, like, as you said, you're, you're both quality players. You've both made it to show pony finals before. I think everyone's expecting a good game. Do you have a rough idea of when you're going to play? Uh, no. So I think I saw before that Bubba and because Kobe said he wanted to play the game like after the like as the final game. So he was sort of what thought a maybe let's, <laughs> let's wait and see when um, Bubba and Ball want to play. Yeah, and I think Sunday they might have said yeah, yeah. So Sunday I guess night? Yeah, yeah. Well, I said to. Kobe, I said, listen, I'm happy to do it in the night because I'm guessing a few of the guys are going to want to watch or commentate or whatever. So I'm sure um, there will be. I think a few of us will stay up for that. Um, yeah, if people have a preferred time, let us know and, and we'll just see what we can do and work it out. Yeah. There you go. Um, what, what time zone are you living in? Are you Sydney based? I'm Sydney. Yeah, I'm in Sydney. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, go go Queenslander tomorrow. Um... <laughs> you got no chance. Uh, anyway. We won't talk about that. I don't think anybody on here gives a shit. <laughs> that, Melbourne Storm uh, won what again? I'm oh, from, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mel- we won't talk about club. Yeah, I, I will. I'm from shit. Melbourne, mate. <laughs> oh, okay. Nice. Nice yeah. one. Because uh, my other team in the AFL is fucking shit house at the moment. So, um, yeah, who's that? <laughs> Essendon. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, it, they haven't been going well for like 18 years now. So, other than that. I, I, I go for Melbourne Storm when uh, I, I live up here. Oh, nice. Prime time Sunday night. That's what they're looking for. Oh, okay. Well, we should be able to make it happen, I reckon. Yeah, um, that'd be but, good. You know, it dep- de- uh, I know with Kobe, we always got to work around the, a current affair or 60 minutes. He likes to watch his I think he's a 7.30 report, isn't he? 
Yeah, 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 so, yeah actually. Oh, yeah, yeah. Seven Thirty Report. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, there is a show I know because I remember there is a show that one of those news shows that he likes to watch and he never wants to play at that time. So, uh, it, it could be something on SBS. To be honest, I used to like that on Friday night too. No, oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you, Chinese Ghost Story. Um, well, again, thank you very much. We uh, we had to I had to learn how to stream on my PC just to get you on. And my last question, mm-hmm. are you definitely not an AI program? <laughs> no, not as far as I know. Not as far as you know? Excellent. <laughs> Until I see you in person, I will still have about 5% doubt. But um, <laughs> I love watching you play. It's uh, it's very, very uh, methodical. Uh, I'm not going to fuck that word. It, it, it's very um, precise how you play. Oh, it's fantastic. Cool. So, no, uh, thanks. Good luck, Kovi. Good luck yourself. Good luck to Bubba. And of course, Baldwin in the um, in the sloppies. And, yeah, uh, yeah. Good luck to all the guys, um, especially Kobe. Um, hopefully, he wins his first. Ah, uh, it's a block. There you go. That's what's that's what's happening. That's where he has to. Uh, Kobe's just uh, commented that the block will be on the TV. No, it's not the fucking block, Kobe. It's some other shit you watch. You told me ages ago. <laughs> it's on the ABC. It is 7.30 it is. report or it's something like that. It's got to be. the, the Australian um, story or something. I don't know. There's uh, something he watches. I'm sure he's a Murdoch sort of fanboy. Uh, <laughs> 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 yes, yes. He's a government employee, so, uh, or was. So, but, um. Yeah. Look, again, thank you so much for jumping on. And I'm going to do a quick couple of shout-outs, and that's going to be firstly to all the people that's jumped on the show during this uh, season. That's going to be Blake that helped me do the uh, kickoff. Uh, we had Hedgehog on here. Luke Adrian jumped on um, and also co-hosted as well. And, of course, Past Dog. If you're watching or listening later on, thank you so much for uh, helping me out for the entire season. And, of course, everyone in the chat for the Go Bombers, yes, thank you, Brog, uh, that pretty much commented throughout the entire season and made it actually enjoyable to do. So, everyone, thank you very much on behalf of myself there as well. Um, good luck, everybody. Good luck for the finals one last time. That's it, guys. Again, Lon Rule. Lon is fuck it, mate. Sorry, man. <laughs> I, I'm going to try and pronounce this right just once. Lon Roll? Lon Roll. <laughs> yeah, the second time you go. Lon Roll. Okay, so I just, I just ignore the yeah. fucking one and just call yeah. it Lon Roll. Right. Yeah, perfect, buddy. Perfect. Thank you, learners. <laughs> um, all right, guys, that's pretty much it. Let me just get this back up. We'll put on the OBBL. Shirt should be coming soon. And, um, of course, if there will be a, um, a quick fundraiser for headphones for yourself. <laughs> um, all it takes is one dollar a week and you too can get a poor player headphones to talk during a game <laughs> please everyone every, every dollar counts all right guys that's it for the show thank you very much <laughs>